If you're craving a salt and pepper chicken dish without craving 3000 calories, then you've come to the right place. This is my best healthy takeaway version to date. So in a bowl here, I've got some cornstarch along with some salt, pepper and some Chinese five spice. This is going to make up the coating um, for the chicken breast. So we're just going to throw that into a bowl and then add it in all the seasonings together. Next, I'm going to dice up my chicken here. You can cut this into thinner strips if you want to go for a more kind of shredded chicken version. I'll probably try that next time myself, to be honest, but I went for the diced version here. Next, I have one egg white and a bowl. All you need to do is whisk the egg white up. This sort of kind of stops it from being just one big lump. Um, and then we're going to throw the diced up chicken breast into the cornstarch mixture. Um, once we've done that and coated it well, we're going to transfer it right into the egg white. Give it a good coat and then give it a second round of coating. Now, this double coating makes the outside of it extremely crispy and gives it that sort of battered effect. But of course, we're not going to be using oil and batter and things like that. We're going to be using the air fryer. Now, this does get pretty messy. <laughs> so prepare to have your hands feel pretty disgusting um, and make sure you've got some flash ready to clean up your worktop um, after you're done here. But make sure the chicken is all well coated as that is going to form the outside and the, the batter style. Um, then we're going to throw it into the air fryer at the max temperature. So I've went for 240 degrees Celsius here, which is the max mines can go to. And I've just threw in some um, fry light spray as well. This is going to take about 7 to 10 minutes to cook. You can kind of judge based on your level of crispiness. Next, on the world's smallest and skinniest chopping board, um, we're cutting up some peppers and onions here. Now, I'm just thinly slicing the peppers and dicing the onion. This was a whole chopping board, but it, funnily enough, snapped in half um, just before the video, so we had no choice. <laughs> um, then I'm going to cut the tops and bottom of my spring onion and just go down and cut it. As you can see, I am not the world's neatest cook and the chopping board didn't help me in this scenario. Next, I'm going to take two tablespoons of chili oil. I have a lot of calories to play with on a daily basis, so if you are leaning out, use a little less oil or potentially even some fry light instead. Um, then we're going to throw the onions, the peppers and the seasonings into the pan along with some ginger and some pureed garlic. You can mash up and use fresh. I'm lazy. I buy the lazy stuff. <laughs> um, from there, we're going to cook that for about three to four minutes. Then we're going to take our chicken and we're going to toss it into the mix. Um, let that kind of swivel around for a minute or two. Add in our spring onions, give it another minute or so, um, and your dish is good to go. And that is an easy, healthy air fryer salt and pepper chicken recipe. I have going to finish it off with a lot of salt as well, which you see here, um, as I am a fan. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Off to the side is going to be a past meal prep recipe um, that I think you will all enjoy. Um, so go and check that out. That's going to be three recipes together. So your breakfast, lunch and dinner for the week. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video.